Hello and welcome to my bathroom. I hope the audio is going to be okay. And this is a makeup look that was done for me at Mecca today. I've got the Kevin O'Corn mascara on and quite a few heavy base products as you can see. And it's time to take this face off. They did use the Too Faced Glitter Glue but no other eyeshadow primer and you can see that it has left my eye. Shall we bring you in? Well like, it looks so gross. <laughs> so let's bring you back out and today we're doing the very exciting face halo like a year six months later so I have both of the face halos and I made a video on these ages ago but that was showing you the technique that face halo recommends you to use which is just wetting these and that's it that's not how I like to use these so first <laughs> Let's get my ears on and this is just to take you through like my nighttime routine essentially. I can show you my bathroom afterwards but this I also share it with the cat so there's there is some kitty litter. So this is essentially how I clean my face using the face halos and I know there's been some yet conjecture comparing them to microfiber cloths. To me, those are two very different products and I do use microfiber cloth in as a frequent use. I have a, a fake one from AliExpress that cost me like $2 of the Makeup Eraser version and I like it, but it's a lot thinner and not as sturdy as this. So starting out, the first product I like to use is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. This is like one of my favorite like makeup melters. Though to be fair, I haven't used many of them. I did realize it's very easy to use more of this than you think you need. But I like to get in there and just rub this all through. And I just wet my hands a little bit. And really lather up and try and melt as much makeup off my face as possible. And once I've done that, I mean, these are pretty much the same product. This one is sturdier than this one. This one doesn't show stains up as well as this one. We might as well use both because, you know, we're here. So I've got the, make, the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm all over. And then I'm just going in and gently rubbing it off and getting the makeup. I find using the balm means that you don't have to be like as harsh on your skin than if I was to like just use this by itself. But it still doesn't take off all the makeup. I tend to wear a lot of makeup. Mm. But the main difference I find is that this just isn't as flimsy as a product as the microfiber cloths are. And I like that you can hang it up from the side here. I'll show you my bathroom at the end. But I like that you can sort of hang it and let it dry and then you can use the other side the next day. So I've just used both sides on the same half of my face. But that's kind of like how I like to use it more to take the cleanser off. And you can see it's sort of done the job. And got most of the makeup off. I feel like that mascara is still on though. So then I like to wash my face. I don't have a favorite cleanser. I have been going through this one, which is a Kiehl's. Callen, what is it? Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. I actually don't really like the smell of this, but I bought it without smelling it. So let that be a warning to you. To always smell your cleanser. Because you're going to have to smell that for a long time. 
And so my desire to buy a face halo came from the fact that when I would wash my face at the end of the day, while still wearing clothing, if I was doing it over the sink, I would splash water on myself. I don't know if I, am I the only person who does this to themselves? But I would be just covered in water. It was like I was having a bath. And I just wanted to clean my damn face. I didn't want to have, I didn't, I just wanted to clean my face. I didn't want to have like a bath. And that's what appeals to me about the face halos and I still do really enjoy them as a product. I just don't use them how they tell you to. And then as you can see now, I'm using the black one uh, just to get the cleanser off so that I don't have to spray myself with water again. And this does do like a gentle exfoliation of your face. So my face is relatively clean. This is where I get a bit bougie ages ago from Alpha H. I bought these cloths. I don't like the they're the cloths that you use for babies. I forget what they are. I'll link like I'll I'll put a thing down. But they're the Alpha H linen cloths. But then because my face is still wet, I just I hate walking around the house with a wet face. Like and look, this this may be just me. But I like to go in and then dry my face off with everything. And then I go in with a toner. This is a toner I've nearly completely gone through. The raw, Rare Earth Pore Refining Toner. And then I tone my face. Um, I like this toner, but I am very more partial to the Lancome one. Just, I feel like that does a really good job at like tightening my pores when I use it frequently. And then you can see I've, mo I've got to finish everything off. Oh, the mascara, I'm fairly certain that's off. Mm. Oh, mm. I forgot I've been toning your nails. It's mostly off. And my final steps. In my routine, there's a little bit of eye cream. I'm just using this one up. I, I'm not really sure how I feel about eye cream as a product. Like, can you just use moisturizer? And for the longest time, I thought eye cream was just for below the eye because I'm. <laughs> that's just what I thought. But it's actually for the eye, like the eyelid and all around. And then because I'm very bougie, I've got the Dr. Dennis Gross. Marine Cushion Moisturizer. I've gone through, this is my third one of these. I love this stuff. And this is where I just dab some dots on and then rub it in the rest. So, I am very oily naturally, but I find using a really nice moisturizer like this helps keep my oiliness at bay. And yeah. That is my nighttime routine. I hope it was somewhat interesting to you. What prompted me to make this video was that I posted up cleaning my face halos the other day on Instagram and someone messaged me asking me about them and I was like, yeah, like they're good, but like I use them this way. And I do think they can get your makeup off. It's just, that's like not whatever appealed to me about buying them. And I really love them for what they are. So I'll quickly show you the bathroom. I hope you enjoy. So here is the entry to my bathroom. Scales, cat stuff, kitty litter, and some of my stuff. This is where I keep all of my beauty gear. And this is where I hang my face halos. These are the clean ones and those are the dirty ones. I've just used those clips that stick on all the sticky stuff that you can take off. This is where I keep all my hair products. And over here, some cleaning products, some more Alpha H cloth thingies. And hello. Here are some suction cap shelves that I've installed myself and this is all my current skincare that I use just on a regular basis. Some Konjac sponges, I don't know why they're there. And my general sink. And then 
I'm coming back up. Here we are. This is a shelf that's just got a heap of samples on it. And that's my bathroom. So anyway, I'd absolutely love to know if you use Face Halo at home and what you think of it. I really enjoy it as a product. I think they are extremely versatile, easy to use, assist in the makeup removal process to make it a lot easier for me. And it is that little bit more eco-friendly than using makeup wipes. So I'd absolutely love to hear from you if you have Face Halo and what you think of it or what you think of how I go about using it. Like, am I just using it completely wrong? Or did it give you some food for thought? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.